We will consent, continue to be there for all Canadians, including workers. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. The only place he's been is in the pockets of Canadian workers, taking away their money. He's raised taxes on paychecks, raised taxes on gas, raised taxes on home heating, raised taxes on food, raised taxes on small businesses. And what does he want to do this Saturday? He wants to raise taxes again. Mr. Speaker, inflation is at a 40-year high after eight years of this Prime Minister. Canadians cannot afford to eat, heat and house themselves. Will he show a little bit of restraint and commit in tomorrow's budget to no new taxes? The right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we've demonstrated every step of the way that we're there to support workers, that we're there to support Canadians, and that's exactly what we've done. When we lowered the small business taxes uh, to uh, record levels and even allowed uh, larger growth from small businesses while continuing to benefit from those, uh, we've continued to step up on supports uh, for workers, continued to step up on supports for families, and that has created both economic growth that has benefited everyone as opposed to the trickle-down that the Conservatives still push with tax breaks for the wealthiest as we have continued to grow the economy in meaningful ways for everyone. Here, here. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. He is his. He wants to take away everybody's money, centralize it in his own hands, and promise that it will trickle down through his mighty bureaucracy and all of the prodigious interest groups that gobble it up. And there'll maybe be a few little drops that get down to the people who actually earned it in the first place. You know, when I first said deficits would cause inflation, all of the experts disagreed, and now they all agree with me. In fact, even the finance minister has now come around to my view, admitting that deficit spending causes inflation. That's why people are paying more than at any time in 40 years. Will he cap government spending and put an end to the inflationary deficits tomorrow? The right honourable prime minister. Tell Mr. Speaker, the leader of the opposition is still hoping and waiting for experts to endorse his plan to opt out of inflation by buying cryptocurrency, something that would have uh, erased savings of Canadians. Uh, the fact is, tomorrow, Mr. Speaker, we're bringing forward a budget that is focused on affordability and supporting Canadians. It's going to be delivering health care results for Canadians right across the country and creating great jobs for the middle class in a clean and growing economy. Those are the focuses that we've been uh, laser focused on over the past many Many years on Canadians, we will continue to step up and be there to grow the economy and support all Canadians. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition.